video in this video i will uh, just terminate some elastic bean stock aws elastic bean stock i'm just doing it so just thought that okay let me record it so this is the true elastic being stock application i will uh, just uh, delete them actually there are two concepts one is delete another is terminate you can see the delete option here and if you go inside you will see terminate option here hmm so aws bin stock right okay what is elastic bin stock okay as i am deleting it probably can say what it is yeah you can read from here getting started using elastic bean stock or what is aws elastic bean stock you can just search what is aws elastic bean stock and google will give you a good answer okay in general what it is let's see if you want to deploy your applications on aws platform uh, if you want to do it uh, in a very good way scalable format or with the load balancing with many other platform appropriate configurations if you want to do it on your own yeah you can for sure do it and you can customize it and you can uh, create a better environment or, or a perfect environment but sometimes it can be lots of task you can rather depend on aws elastic bean stock you will deploy your application through elastic bean stock you have to uh, bring your stuff and you have to give some basic information about your application and what it needs and then rest of the infrastructure configuration and whatever services it needs it will uh, take it and manage it and create a standard uh, deployment platform for your application and deploy it yeah anyway how to use elastic bean stock or use cases or those i can show at a later time but at this moment i just uh, trying to delete or terminate my environments for some reason these are some new environment so just thought to record this let's see my first bean stop terminate terminate uh, one another thing uh, if you are using the free tire EBS is not really free to the best of my knowledge so you might be thinking okay it's it's free I have I'm in the free tire but Amazon might keep charging you for the service uh, the reason because I think EBS in the background it will be using some of the services like uh, uh, load balancers and many others some others um, that are not free that that uh, that are not part of the free tier so they will uh, keep charging you so be careful on that so let's say for one environment i am terminating for another one i will delete and you actually will see some ec2 instances
So for the APS, uh, in general, it will also use some instance, EC2 instance in the background. So when you delete or terminate this uh, EBS application, the corresponding EC2 instance will get terminated or deleted. And if you do not stop your uh, EBS application or do not terminate it, but if you keep trying to stop your EC2 instance, uh, those will keep coming back. The EC2 instances will be coming back. So, yeah, first of all, uh, you have to terminate, stop uh, the EBS before you can or you will see your EC2 instances to be turned off. Anyway, services elastic bin stock. So, which one I can B demo ENV? That's what I was doing it. We can also terminate this. You might see the shutting down or terminating okay zero running instances so the running instances are gone to volumes let me delete some of this stuff i'm just uh, cleaning up this account so volume means the ec2 instance they use volumes in the back to keep data you can attach and detach volume from one instance to another instance You want to detach so what else is there so is it being used is it available if there is any attachment okay it's not attached to anything so let's see yeah, delete. Snapshots, those are just uh, backups. I don't think I have some. I don't have it. Images, you can keep images for your instances and you can restore images to instances.
security groups for a particular instance you can assign a security group you can control if it can it is publicly available or do you allow SSH to it those kind of security groups I think when you create some instance it will allow you to create a security group as well or you can create security groups separately and you can attach security group to instances So are they being deleted or okay default and public these are default so they cannot be deleted So one key pairs, it's for remote access or SSH access. Okay, I was creating some Jenkins platform for continuous uh, deployment, continuous development. Just a sample. Anyway, for now, I will delete this because I already deleted the corresponding applications and instances. Spot requests. Spots requests, it's a low cost way of using Amazon. They probably you will get service for the residual stuff, not yeah, low priority with uh, anyway. I probably can define it later. Volumes and the corresponding snapshots of volumes security groups elastic ips you can assign static ips to your instances key pairs key value pair rsa network interfaces load balancers so yeah no load balancers are now because uh, i was using some through ebs elastic bin stop now they are gone Anyway, I might create some more videos on AWS on the what to explain the concepts or how to use or how to use the different stuff in different environment. Anyway, bye bye. Let's see if I want to delete anything more. Okay, let's see. S3 is for storage. It's low cost, kind of low cost storage. So, if I want to delete it, it will be asking me to type the name. So, better I better copy the name first. Now, delete the bucket give the name here and then delete so why it is telling that access denied s3 Let's see if I want to empty it. Okay, it was done empty. Let's see if I can delete it. Okay, looks like there's some permission issue that I might have to fix. code commit, code build, code deploy
sidestray.com if you search for code commit you will find some small short notes on how to configure a code commit environment anyway I can stop here but I probably should say who I am right this is Said from Toronto Ontario Canada I work primarily as a consulting contract web technology database BI so yeah Okay, that's me. <coughs> that's our electronics shop. Anyway, bye bye.